Good morning, this is Jeannie from Expat on Purpose and we continue the search for immigration and where are we going? So the one problem is that a lot of people are not sure which country they want to go to and as I said in the past is you might end up in a country that doesn't quite fit your profile. I have looked into becoming a digital nomad in different countries and with COVID that's happening currently as of last year there is quite a lot of countries that now have opened their borders up for digital nomad visas which is absolutely amazing this gives you an opportunity to go and live in a country for a year for a few months to see whether you fit in with a culture with a people with a climate and everything else it takes without having to do a official immigration so i'm pretty excited about this and i am going to share with you what is required for panama why panama because this is at the moment a hot country to go to because of the tax that they have basically as a digital nomad you are not going to pay any income tax in that country so let's jump into it and if you are enjoying the videos and the content that i'm sharing with you i would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to these videos because that way i can do more videos and get you more content that might be of interest to you what is a digital nomad a digital nomad is a person that works outside of a company workplace and it's also often referred to as a work from home job so there's generally three types of remote works work and the first one is where you work for a company as a remote worker in other words you don't have to go into an office or be on the premises like i said you work from home the second type is being a freelancer where you are self-supportive and the third one is when you are an online entrepreneur in other words you've got your own business and you are servicing your customers online only now depending on the type of work that you are doing you might need a work permit even as a freelancer as well as an entrepreneur i always will advise you to speak to the lawyers that or immigration company that you're working with to check on that to see if that is what you will need like i said the big bonus for panama territorial taxation where you are not required to pay income tax when you are earning worldwide income in panama so what are the requirements number one you've got to have a contract with a foreign company that pays you a salary or that pays you your income you've got to be able to perform functions that are affected abroad and not in Panama and then you've got to show an income abroad of at least 36,000 Balboas or US dollars because they are in line with the US dollar per year so your income has to be at least $36,000 US dollars or Balboa this digital nomad visa is valid for nine months and can be extended for another for the same period so what would you need? The visa process is as follows. All of your documentation has to be apostled. So whether you're in the US, England, Europe, 
or South Africa or Africa, you will be having to require a parceled documentation. So what is it that they need? Number one is you're going to need a form that assumes costs to return to your own country if necessary. You're going to need three passport size photos. You're also going to need a copy of medical insurance that is valid in Pan Panama during your time of stay. Then you will have a company letterhead signed by a legal representative showing your general data, the position that you hold, your function, obviously your income, and it has to state that you are a remote worker and also commitment for the costs of repatriation if you had to go back to your own country. You will also be required to do a sworn declaration of non-acceptance of any jobs or services national territory, in other words, in Panama. And the cost and fee for the National Immigration Services to get this process going is 250 Balboas. So it's not a lot of money, but please make sure that you've spoken to an immigration lawyer or that you have spoken to an immigration consultant because there will also be fees with regards to that. Right now, as we stand, I think this is probably the cheapest um, digital nomad visa that is available. There are other countries that also has digital nomad visas, and we will start going through that one by one to see what are the requirements what is the visa process and the costs um, so that you can look into it and become a digital nomad. I can't see that there's any easier way right now to experience other cultures, seeing a beautiful country like Panama, see what the diversity is and whether it works for you. So if you like what I'm sharing with you, please subscribe and I will see you on the next video.